What's going on everyone? It is now another day, another video, and we have parts to fix this car up. And I can't wait to show you what we've got. Some of the stuff is gonna make life really, really easy out of the track. Some of the stuff is to replace the broken parts that we broke um, last round when we had got into that little accident. But we've got the parts now, we can get this thing fixed, put back together because in a couple of days, this car is actually going in to get a decent setup put in it. And, uh, well, it's actually not going in. They're going to come here and do it, which is fantastic. So I'm stoked. Let's get this car back together and get it ready to get on, uh, get on the patch, get it set up, ready for next round. All right, so the first thing we actually have is a new crash bar to replace the one that we damaged last round. Now, if you look here, this is the old one, and it's literally pancaked itself. I was actually able to pull it out fractionally in there, because it should look like that. So if you see the difference, big, big difference. So I'm actually gonna keep this one. Uh, we're gonna, what I'll do is eventually, this will become a spare. Um, I'm gonna fabricate up eventually just a new bracket, similar to this if I can and then spot weld this back on because this one's fine and we've got a spare front crash bar but instead now let's get the new one on um, this was I thought it'd be incredibly difficult to try and find this new crash bar but thanks to Facebook marketplace um, it's actually pretty easy so we uh, located one got it put in or got it drove in out picked it up 75 bucks later got a, got a new crash bar and we can go racing again with a front bumper that will sit straight All right, starting to look more like a car again. So we get the, uh, got this side back together, looking absolutely awesome. Now we just have to put the new headlight and indicator in, and luckily I have one over my workbench. So we'll go have a look at that now. All right, so in this box, we have a bunch of gear from Mish's XL Garage. Now, before I open this box, I want to say a massive shout out to my dad who was up in Townsville and visited a bunch of um, wreckers up in Townsville just to see if he could find something cheaply up there. He was coming, he did come down this week, so he was gonna fly down with it. But he went to a wreckers up there and just for them to go out and have a look and see if there was one up there and then pull it out of the car whenever they got one, they were gonna charge me $110 for the headlight and $45 for the used indicator. So both of them will be used parts. Now, I've done some research. I knew I could get a new headlight and indicator from Mish. Uh, 110 for the headlight and 35 for a brand new indicator. So that's the route I went because there was actually some other parts that I did want to get from him. So in this box, we have New indicator, down here is our new headlight, and in here is a bunch of little parts to make our life easier. And once I get the headlight in and uh, on the car, I'll show you those in a second. All right, so that's our new headlight. Um, I did put a call in to check it out graphics down in South Australia to send me some new green tint for the headlight, that should be coming very soon. So I'll put these on the car just to get it all set up uh, because we have got a setup, I've got a guy come to a setup on the car very, very soon um, in a couple of days. So we'll get this on so we can get the balances right and then I can always pull it off and just wrap it, wrap it. it doesn't take long to wrap it. And same with the indicator. So I'll have two green headlights and two green indicators again. So we'll get this on the car and get the car situated and uh, looking back more like a race car. And he's now whole again. 
it's uh, not a perfect fit. There is a little adjustment we could make. This is a bit of a gap that goes down there, which means we just need to move this over fractionally. But at the end of the day, it's not too bad. We could probably try and work that out somewhat. But looks good. Well, uh, a few other things we need to get done to the car now. And uh, little trick little components I want to put in. But so far, it's good to see a headlight and an indicator back into it and the car look normal again. Alright, so here's what we've got. New rear tow bolts to go in the car. Now these things are meant to be absolutely stout. The ones that come stock on the car, the threads actually fail a little bit. And so when you go to set your tow, sometimes you can't get the right correct tow settings and um, they shift during race. So I got these, they were 20, I think $27.50 each. Small investment for potentially decent gains. Got that. Um, just some replacement radiator mounts. The ones that came on, that are on my car, they're all perished. They're actually cracked right through. So 10 bucks. Um, got a pair of those. The other thing that is going to be awesome is these quick caps. Um, I think it's one and a half turns to get it off the valve stem on the on the tyre. So I'll throw those on and make life really quick instead of fiddling around trying to get the valve caps back on and off slowly. The next thing is braided uh, clutch line. So you get rid of the standard rubber hose and the um, hard line just goes straight from the, I think it's the firewall or just down near the uh, the chassis rail to the gearbox um, so we'll put that in and then this little magician magic little piece here is actually a clutch bleeder extension and I'll show you exactly why I got this because bleeding the clutch on a stock bleed valve um, and its location is an absolute pain in the backside. So I'll show you how this mounts when we get it in. Right, so the stock bleed nipple is right just down in here. Now, it's a heap of space now, but when you put in a radiator, you've got the hoses, other lines going everywhere, it is actually really, really difficult to get anything down there. And then you've got to try and put a spanner down there or something to loosen it off. What most people do is just get a socket on an extension and just turn it off and bleed it that way. Which is not real good because you are putting um, fluid all over the ground when you are trying to bleed the clutch. So what's, what this little line does is it actually, you un, take out the bleed nipple down there, you attach this in its place and it just sits nicely up here. There's a little bracket um, that you can take off and attach sits nicely up there so much easier to bleed your clutch um, and you're not spilling fluid everywhere um, i think this was about 50 dollars so to make life easy we picked that up and then because i just want to replace the factory factory line we got the full extension which goes from here all the way down to down here. Okay, so we just undo those wires. Once that's on, we can do it back up. But it pretty much just takes out that bracket, this rubber line here, connects up here, all the way down, and then you've got your extension all the way up. So, we might get onto that. Won't be too hard, should be fairly quick, and then we can knock that out and then Bleed the clutch, get all that taken care of, and then we'll be uh, good to go to put the radiator back in. All right, if you're gonna do this clutch bleeder extension uh, yourself, just a word. Um, I've got the new line running down here connected up, but this bypass hose here actually makes it a little bit difficult to get the connection into the, for the bleeder extension into the slave cylinder. Um, so what you do is just take out the top bolt in there, loosen off this one, rotate it. So I've just rotated it like so. So I'll be able, don't have to rotate it too far. 
So I'll be able to get the um, the connection in and then you can put it back in, line up with the bolts, do it all back up and then just run your hose up to your bracket that you've modified up here. And that is now in. So we've got our line all the way down here. Got the fluid going in and then we can bleed it out through here. So now, instead of trying to reach down there when you've got all the gear in here, you just hook up there, bleed, much, much easier, time saver. And uh, for a small price, um, I think the, the actual line was about $50. The clutch line, the braided line from there to the slave cylinder was $80. Um, reason why we do this is the old hose, the old one's rubber, and when you push a lot of pressure on it, it can expand. So the braided line just keeps that nice, nice continuous uh, pressure on it. And then we can bleed it there, and then that'll be good to go. So now it's time to just start putting everything else back in, and hopefully it all fits going back together nicely. We'll wait and see. All right, radiator is back in, and doesn't look too bad. Slightly, I guess, skew if, but heaps of room. It is does have a small uh, kink to it. That's all right. Like I keep saying, it holds fluid, and uh, yeah, looking good. So now is just to connect up the hoses, get all that taken care of, and then we can um, begin to get this thing back together. Put rear toe bolts in, I'll put more clutch fluid in it, and uh, bleed the clutch. Alright, another day people, uh, fresh haircut, and uh, the sun's starting to come out, so I thought I'd throw on the, tankless, uh, the tank top and try and get a bit of a tan, if I can, ready for the beach. But, straight into it today, we are changing the rear toe bolts on this car, and I'll show you exactly why. We are doing that because the rear toe bolts on these on the XLs have a tendency to fail, and uh, new ones I'm putting in will rectify that problem very quickly. Okay, so these are the original toe bolts out of the uh, <clears throat> the race car. They are the ones that came with it. Um, I've changed them. You can see the actual slot there that that the big washer slides over. Um, in between that washer and the nut there is normally a spring washer. It's not on this one because I've already put the replacement one in and I use that spring washer just to hold it in place. So you'll see that the actual threads there that are provided to us are not real long. And I'll show you the new one and show you the comparison, but these are not real great. These aren't great, are they, Cruzy? Not great? No. And this is our upgraded one that we're going to be putting in. So you'll see a massive difference there. Big difference is one, 22 mil socket or spanner needed to change this big one. Um, the washer, it's not just one big flat piece. There's actually two slots to, there to hold it in place and more thread that we can go through. So... I have on the other one I've just put in, I put the, took the spring washer off the original one and put it in between the, the nut there and this. This nut is actually quite a lot bigger as well. I'll put them side to side and you'll see what I'm talking about down here. It's um, just a lot beefier, a lot stronger and by all accounts, the guys that have been using these and upgraded these to um, put in their cars, they haven't had any failures in terms of rear toe going out of alignment. Um, and no toe failures if they hit a curb or something on track. Um, yeah, no problems at all. So we'll stick these in. Hopefully that'll help our uh, rear toe alignment because we did last race meeting, I was actually racing with about three mil toe out. Um, and just trying to get it aligned was frustrating, so I left it. It was, it was fine, like, I was able to race, but probably not ideal or perfect. So, putting these in the car today because tomorrow we're getting this car aligned and getting that, um, we'll get this in so we can get a perfect alignment on the car, get it on the trailer, and get it out to the track 
for next weekend. Alright. So that's the uh the new one in right there. Got it on both sides, make life much, much easier at the track. And then if we flip this up, we might be able to see got a bolt in there. So they're in, they are not set perfect just yet because as I said previously, we're getting a full setup done in this car tomorrow, I believe. And um, we'll get all that squared away so she's nice and straight and ready to go. All right, so that, that adjustment just there, all that improvement we've just made, those tow bolts, I believe they're about $27.50 from Mish's XL Garage online. Um, if you race XLs, I highly recommend you just jump on that. It's a small, small cost, which could uh, make your life much, much easier at the track. The other thing we're going to do this car right now is uh, change our valve stem caps to some quick caps. Um, if you've ever tried to lower your tire pressures quickly during a session, during qualifying, you'll, notice, you'll know that trying to unscrew those caps takes forever, whereas these quick caps... Uh, one and a half turns and they are off and then one and a half turns and they are back on so We'll get them mounted up now Here we go make our lives much easier out at the track if we can make our lives just that much easier It'll uh, pay off in the long run These wheels are still filthy from the last race man. I'll take them outside in a second give them a good clean up Get the car clean ready for next race meet but these valve caps, like I said just before, you gotta keep turning, 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 and eventually they pop off. These new quick caps, again, from Mish's XL Garage, one and a half turns, they'll go on, it's a pack of 10, so you'll have spares. Um, I think the whole, I can't remember how much they were, possibly about 12 bucks, 20 bucks or something, they'll, they'll get you sorted. So. We'll put these on now, just open up the packet. I haven't even opened them yet. Just test them out, so this will be a learning experience for both of us. Cap. Nice little seal inside. Stick it on. Once it gets on. <laughs> oh man. So one, always one, one and a half. Super easy, look at that. Man, that is spectacular. All right, change those over on all the tires, good to go. Pack of 10, can't beat them, small price, makes life much easier at the track. All right guys, I will leave it there. I have a ton of work to do this car uh, before next race meet. Um, done all the main things, I'm just gonna drop the oil, put a new filter on, put new oil, stuff like that. Uh, the new bonnet or the bonnet on it, I'm just gonna leave munted uh, in case something else happens. I'm not gonna go keep going through bonnets and then hopefully after the next two rounds, I'll, um, I'll stick a new bonnet on it and uh, Get this thing looking square again and uh, go from there. So, until next time, I have a few, two videos coming out that I think you guys will find very, very handy if, uh, if you need to do these two things. Uh, one of them is going through how I put my radio communications onto my GoPro footage. Um, <clears throat> just a little thing I've rigged up or put together. Makes life much easier. And the other thing, a um, little special project I have in the works. So we'll see how we go. So until next time, guys, I will see you later. Uh, stay safe. Uh, and if you're a dad out there, happy Father's Day. I'll see you later.